How's it going everybody? It is Colossalis here. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at Jaina. Uh, a surprising re like resurgence of Jaina has been seen on the latest like tournaments in the HGC and just the global championship overall. Why? It's due to the fact that people found out that one of her builds, which is her Q build, is actually much, much more viable than the ones we were used to before. Jaina received uh, quite a quite a big rework, uh, I think over the last two months, or was it earlier than, earlier than that? I don't think I've actually done a video about her since her nerf to her mobility. Um, she, was re she was reworked since then, and we're going to be taking a look at this new amazing build. I'm here to help! Alright boys and girls, we find ourselves on the Tomb of the Spider Queen, one of my favorite maps in the rotation right now. It's, it, it, it has always been my favorite rotation uh, uh, map in the rotation, to be honest with you guys. On the one we go, we are going to pick up Winter's Reach, which increases the, the range of our Q by 30%. Our Q ability, by the way, is this skill shot in front of us. What it does is just shoots up, shoots out the projectile and deals damage. That's pretty much it. What it also does, it applies our trait, which I will explain in a second. Our W ability is is this like, it's like this circle you see in the middle, and and the range of it is the bigger circle outside of us. It kind of launches three waves of uh, of these like ice ice icicles going down, which deal heavy damage to to just the targets in that area. I think every sec every seconds there's one bombardment. Don't get don't quote me on that though. And then our E ability is is that it? Yes. Uh, and this is this is also going to apply our trait. And our E ability is this conal cone of kind of, a kind of um, shaped skill shot that also deals damage and just applies our trait. Well, what is our trait? Our trait is called um, frostbite. Frostbite allows us to amplify the damage of our next ability to the to the target. So, all abilities chill targets, slowing movements, speed by 25%, and then amplifying damage from your uh, abilities by 50%, which makes her a crazy burst hero. It makes her a crazy burst hero just, just because she can, um, she can, you know, basically poke somebody with her Q, and then, up, and then suddenly she can just deal so much damage with her abilities. I should be a pretty good, uh, pretty good match to this, uh, to this. Um, Zagara here. There's a hit. She's going to be slowed. She's going to also be slowed by the friendly variant, uh, but we won't be able to pick up a game. But at least we can kind of try to pressure her out of here. Honestly, the enemy variant will be pr a pretty tasty uh, treat for us. Especially that this build kind of makes Gina hmm, a lot like Li Ming, just because she can poke at a distance, at the great distance, just because her Q is what we will be um, what we will be focusing on today. Um, I'm really wait waiting for that variant to, to engage. There we go. We're able to just poke down the enemy variant, also uh, kind of touching that um, that wave a little bit. There we go. Slowed again. It's just she applies so much crowd control. It's sometimes impossible to play against her. Like. <laughs> Uh, just a slow. It's a 25% slow, constantly slow for four seconds, and that that by itself is just an it's just a really really good trait. Well, to compensate for that, she doesn't get any mobility. You have to be careful with your positioning, and that's why this build is actually the best build, just because it allows you to stay safe while also dealing just a crap ton of damage. Um, you probably saw that our Q is on a four second cooldown. You know, it's, you know, it's not it's not as as low of a cooldown as um as the, for example Li Ming's you know uh, ma magic missiles, or or for example Chromie's uh, sunblast. Uh, you know her Q. Well, yes, you're right. It's not, but one of the talents that is actually going to allow us to um, to make the cooldown much much. Uh, actually, actually, it is going to reduce it by quite a lot. I don't think I'll be able to help, to help here too much. I am able to poke at this variant, but honestly, I'm just gonna try to stay here. I just failed. 
I'm gonna try to use uh, do it a creep, but honestly, I should not use my E to do that. Is there a two falls down in the bottom lane again? Um, but I'm yeah. So all level one, what we did, we extended the reach of our Q by 30%, which makes us a very very pokey assassin. That's how I already said that. And then on our on our W, I made it so on this map, this map is very like clear heavy, and there's gonna be a lot of minions in the ways in the way of, of, of us getting some uh, some kills. Very nice stun is not going to secure the kill just because I wasn't fast enough to um, to respond to that. So what, what kind of ability did I um, did I pick up on level four? On level four, I picked up a talent which which actually makes me makes my Q go through the first target and hit the second. This is going to increase my damage immensely and also allow me to. Just kind of get, th for example, let's say an enemy hero is behind the minion, I can still hit him. If, you know, the enemy hero is behind a wall, I can still hit that hero, right? So it's, it's just going to improve our... Improve our overall um, utility in, in every single fight. On level 7, we picked up exactly what I was talking about. Reduces the cooldown of our Q when we hit... Uh, an enemy who, who is chilled, who is affected by our trait. It's gonna. It, this, this is pretty much like a gigantic um, a power spike for for Jaina because she can just come come down here and just keep poking. You can see my my Q, my Q is already back of cooldown and it's already back of cooldown again, and I can just keep poking. And um, the only thing that really limits you is your ability to hit your skill shots, which is obviously really awesome. Um, she's really strong with with stunlock comps, where she can apply her W. Of course, the W is kind of like a damage over time. Um, I'm gonna come in here, wait for the um, wait for the shield to to just to fade, and then we can just come in here, try to engage at the enemy t at the enemy team. I think we should be able to. I'm taking a lot of damage. Yep. I was taking damage from from this wave pretty much all the time, and our our variant didn't peel for us at the, at the end. I don't think he's realizing that he's actually all alone. ETC? Alright, there's ETC. He comes in and peels for our Varian. Our Varian is gonna back up in a very, very <laughs> bad spot. He's gonna be affected by the black arrow from um, from the enemy Sylvanas. He won't be able to recall. On my way here to maybe kill, maybe kill somebody. Honestly, the, this build I think is better than Li Ming. Even though Li Ming gets, it gets all of her mobility and stuff. Like the amount of damage Jaina can apply is just way bigger um, than than Li Ming can ever dream dream of. At the bottom lane, we have a two, we have a two specialist pushing, uh, which I think we can actually get this kill. Oh, actually, Varian is on me. I'm gonna apply this to my. I'm just gonna be killed. I'm just gonna be killed off, and that's what really Jaina is bad at. She's bad at staying alive. Um, we do not have a healer this game, so it's gonna be extra. Um, extra tricky to stay alive. Um, that's pretty much her her only weakness at the moment. He, uh, she, uh, he, not not not, she, not he, but she um, gets basically blown up if she if if the backline of the enemy gets even uh, remotely on her, or you know maybe the enemy team has a lot of hard engage and you know if they have a, a lot of hard hard engage, you have no way to escape them. At level twenty, you get an ice block. Uh, and there you go, hard engage. I just can't do anything. I did uh, secure the kill on the variant, though. I did uh, I did uh, use my ultimate here, which, which, which by the way is Ring of Frost. After a little delay, a 1.5 second delay, I will uh, be kind of applying this this Ring of Frost kind of ability. It's like a ring, on, a very huge ring. If anybody gets caught by the ring itself, not the inside, but the ring itself, they get rooted and they take then they take. Heavy damage. Also, of course, the chill tar chilled effect is also applied to that target. Uh, very, very good for for crowd control, but you have to make sure that you hit it. If you don't hit it, uh, you're you're in for bad, bad of a day. So, um, a very big, a very big um, ring of frost can secure your kills. A very bad one can actually turn the uh, turn the tide of battle against you. Enemy the enemy team coming here. I'm gonna try to poke here at the enemy team. 
Honestly, I'll, I'll, I should be pretty good at that, right? I should be pretty good at that. Uh, I should be definitely careful of the stun from the enemy um, enemy variant. Uh, the friendly team going in very, very deep here. Um, I am going to try to maybe kill this variant. And we we, just, we do succeed, but we do lose ETC and variant in the process. Um, the enemy team coming in here. If I can ra land a good ring of frost like this one, we will be able to pretty much instantly blow up the enemy Zarya. But again, she she dealt her, she dealt her damage, and now I have to back to get the health back. So nice, we actually killed Zarya. Uh, we didn't we, we weren't able to get Ziggy Zigzag Zagara, but still hashtag worth. You know what I mean? It's like a seven, 80 second cooldown for one kill. Nay too bad, if you ask me, brother. So why is she so good at the moment? She has the best wave clear out of all assassins, I would say. I would previously, I would, pre I would be that confident and say that she has the best wave clear out of all assassins. Why? Because of her W. Her W, you know, the, the launching three, um, three waves of, uh, you know, of, of this like of this ice magic, amplifying damage, you know, of your next of, of, of the next wave by like by the fifty percent mark. It's really big. It's really just really big. We're gonna go for Ice Barrier on this level range, kind of giving us a little bit of survivability, which we do desperately need as Jaina. What it does, uh, actually, I think uh, like 20% of my damage is gonna come back to me as shields, which obviously, you know, with the um, obviously with the with the amount of damage we can do, burst damage we can do, it's going to be a lot, a lot of damage. I'm actually curious to the, to the actual number. It's 25%. Okay, and here is the engage on the enemy Zarya. She's going to be taken straight out, and uh, that was a very, actually very nice pick in, uh, for a quick match for a quick match team. Gonna come in here and just try to apply. I'm gonna keep applying my damage here. Very nice mosh pit. Might secure a couple of kills here. There, there's a, there's my blizzard coming out on the enemy. Um, me very taking them out of the fight. A very nice mosh pit. It will secure us a couple of kills. And a nice push here in the middle lane. I hate resorting to violence. Me too, Jaina. But yo, we gotta do what we gotta do, baby girl. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna probably wait for my cooldowns a little bit. Because I, I'm, I'm gonna have to go back anyway. Uh, for the manas. Yeah, so what, one one thing that's missing from this build is mana return. Uh, I could alleviate that by not picking up the, the the pierce, and that's what you can do on maps which aren't heavy on the wave clear, which not have you know um, like clearing minions as their objective, which this does. So I picked up you know the pierce, but you can also pick up. You can you can kind of skip the the pierce and go go for the arcane intellect, which will return the mana when you uh, when you damage. Um, the enemy. Very nice lockdown here. My secure a, a kill here on the enemy Zarya. Nice, Zarya gets blown the fuck up. I'm gonna come here. Here comes out the uh, I, uh, Ring of Frost securing us a kill here on the enemy Zagara. Uh, here is that. Oh god. Oh my god! I gotta, I gotta get out. I don't have, enough, I don't have almost, I have no, almost no health at all here. I'm gonna go for northern exposure, which, uh, which should allow us to secure a little bit more heal, kills. There's a kill on the butcher, and we, we got you, we got you. I'm gonna kill that uh, Nidus so she cannot do too much. Uh, you can see just how quickly we can burn down um, this, uh, this web weaver push. Uh, there's a northern exposure. Bam! It's done. Basically, two uses of my E, one use of my Q, and one use of my W. Just that's how quickly you can get down an, an, an entire objective with all the amplification of the damage. Crazy! And also, I gotta, I gotta talk about um, how the community, including myself, reacted to the change to Jaina. Um, I was furious. Uh, she used to have, by the way, Sprint on level 13, I believe, and she used to have Blink. At level 20, which, goddamn, it it ensured so much, uh, you know, basically so much. Oh, combo! combo. Will secure us a triple here. Here, very nice mash pit. Just, just, just raping the enemy team basically here. Um, just adding the insult to the injury. Oh, 
Oh, that's a mega kill. We should be going for the boss on right on this occasion, my friends, my boys and grills. Let's go. I'm pretty good at taking boss as well because I can do this, and then I can just spam my Q just because I'm I'm hitting a chill target every single Q, which means the the um, which means that my Q will be. Basically, we'll be uh, reducing its cooldown by, by, I think, like two seconds. Was it two seconds? I don't remember. Yes, it's two seconds, and returning 10 mana. So I can stay a little bit more efficient on the mana side, and um, and also just just you know keep dealing that poke damage. Just keep keep um, dealing that poke damage all day. All right. Um, yeah, so I was uh, talking about her changes, how the community, uh, uh, how the community, <laughs> oh my god, so many, just, Sylvana's getting blown up. Right, so she changed, um, she had the sprint on level 13, which gave which gave her, she had a shit ton of burst, um, she was just a crazy burst mage, and then she had all the mobility in the world, she had a sprint, she had a blink at level 20, and it just made her almost invincible, right? Where, where, where are we going? Where are we going, my friends, here? Actually, Chromie might be in a little bit of a bad position here. I'm gonna come in here, maybe... Oh my god, we're still doing it! We're still living the dream, boys! We're still living the dream. Um, so they took that away. Just uh, with one patch, everything just went away. And everybody was like, No! What are you doing? Like, it was myself included. I think, like, you know, just because she's a, she's a mage, she should be able to have a blink. But again, like, it will just make her just... Really, really strong. It's just way too strong. Uh, whoa. And no butcher. That's how quickly a butcher can get blown up here. Um, yeah. So, again, uh, her changes were a little bit brutal. Nobody know, nobody knew how to build her. That was before her rework. Uh, she was just way too strong. Um, they took away her mobility, which is basically her, her power. At the time, uh, she, uh, she basically got... Um, she had a shit ton, again, she had a shit ton of damage with the ability to get away, uh, which was just again just crazy, crazy. Um, she was kind of like a limiting on drugs, just because she had sprint and blink, so she had like basically two. Oh my god, look at that! She actually put him a little, like out of position, but still. Okay, I think we have to get out here. I don't have uh, I don't have anything on me. Um. And people didn't know how to build her, and then they decided, okay, uh, you know, we took away so many, so many of her abilities. Let's give her a rework. So she received so, like so many changes that she was actually very, very hard to recognize to the old, old players who used to play Jaina back in the day. Um, basically, she was given a lot more utility. She was given, you know, she was actually her talents were swapped around. And that she was actually given way more synergy. Uh, there are two builds floating around, which I guess I'll explain at the end of the video. And actually, this one only came in recently. This one made her, like, again, uh, as I'm saying this again, on par with Li Ming or any kind of other, like, mage assassin that's out there. You can see how much damage we're able to do. I'm gonna come in here, apply the Ring of Frost, which is going to hit two members of the enemy team, allowing me, to, uh, allowing us to get to get a double kill here. That actually, a <laughs> temporal loop made me miss my ability, but still, it made uh, us get the kill on Varian. Any Butcher clearing out the bottom line, I think that's why they lost that uh, that team fight there, and we were able to clean up the house. Of course, besides Butcher. Of course, besides Butcher. Butcher down on the bottom line. Uh, we will try to gank him, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to. Uh, I do have my Ice Block still, which I did pick up at level 20, by the way. Um, But, okay, let's let's just go top. Let's just go top. Looks like the enemy butcher um, is trying to do something, and he's going to be killed off by our variant and the Zarato. Right, so at level 16, I, 16, I picked up the uh, Northern Explosion, which what it does, it uh, when I when when I catch somebody with my E, which honestly is a very very like low low range ability, uh, it will um, it will uh, grant that target a vulnerability. So it's gonna make make them take 25% more damage, even more kind of benefiting benefiting our our ability to um, to deal burst damage. You know we can just melt down targets even as tanky as Zarya, Zarya with her shields. So I'm gonna wait for until her shields wears off. I'm gonna use the use it here and honestly, 
I'm gonna go into ice block so I don't die from these uh, from that um, from those from those uh, creeps here uh, from the creep and we got you we got you Rain coming out behind me oh crap yeah I just can't do anything so you, you can see as soon as there's a hardened gauge going into um, into Jaina like she just blows up like that of course I was granted I was at uh, I, was, I was at like half health to a third of health but we still it's just she has just no health and that's understandable with the her amounts of damage with her amounts of utility wave clear and just overall poke poke ability now that would be way too strong if she had a little bit more health for a very very long time she was the number one win rate hero on hot logs on master league she had a 70 percent win rate which is just crazy for Master League right um, they didn't change her uh, at all they, they they did not apply to her any changes um, but she kind of fell off by herself probably people learned how to play against that new build and uh, that allowed people to really uh, maybe stay safe against her I don't know because I don't see too many like weak spots in her playstyle right now of course again it's the health the hard engage so that's the one way you can actually um you can actually counter her but when it comes to just countering her in her playstyle there's not much you can do you saw how we were, we were able to secure so many kills with that ring of frost that was actually one of my be better games with with uh, with the ring of frost there we had a zero two who can lock some people up and allow me to um to really apply my ring of frost there uh, kind of you know if of course if i can time it correctly if i can time it correctly uh but let's say three people are locked down in the in the vp i can time it correctly so when the vp ends that's exactly when uh, i'm not going to apply the ring of frost but the uh, the i'm going to apply it so early that it will explode just as the vp expires and it just lock instantly locks them push them into shield mode, root them in place so I can deal all of my burst damage safely from a distance. And them, of course, not allowing to, like, basically not allowing those enemies to move. Um, Jaina was used in one of the uh, compositions in HGC uh, with, uh, with the Medivh, who uh, Medivh, basically what he did, he did a very similar effect to VP, lane line seal, locked down a couple, couple of targets, um, also allowing you to kind of time you know your ring of frost uh, to where um where you could um <laughs> sorry about that where you could just you know kind of like time the the ring of frost lock down some targets and deal your damage from uh from you know from from just a safe distance uh, also rooting the targets down so she's uh she's very useful now she's actually picked on the, on most maps which are about wave clear just because of her wave clear she just has an amazing amount of wave clear uh plus also uh plus also the amount of her burst damage make her a very very viable assassin the only thing that's really uh, not appealing about her again again it's her lack of mobility and her low health pool let's go over the build again let me just get a sip of my drink I think on this on this map on Tomb of the Spider Queen, just because it is a very very mm, wave clear heavy map, I, w I probably should have went for a different build, her W build, her Blizzard build. But I believe still with this build, we were pretty successful with applying some 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 mean single target damage. At level one, we went for Winter's Reach, increasing our range of our third of our uh, Frostbolt, just because without the increase, it's not that. It's not that impressive. Um, with this, we kind of make it to where it's similar to the range of Li Ming with her uh, with her W. It kind of goes almost across the entire screen, and it allows you to really poke poke a lot. And it, of course, synergizes with our overall build. A level four, we did go for the frost shards. Again, this is a uh, this is a map which is heavy on the um, on the wave clear. Therefore, we there's going to be a lot of minions in the way, right? And you don't want to be you don't want to be hitting minions and even if you do this is going to help this is going to pierce the first target and hit the second one behind it that's why we were able to kill zagara a couple of times that's why we were able to kind of pressure that sylvana uh, sometimes though, because because she was behind the wall i could still hit her that's why we were able to hit two mercenaries while doing a mercenary camp while uh, while without the sound we, we would only be able to just damage one so again it just applies more damage maybe there are two two enemies in line i think that was the case in one, one of the mosh pits that our, our etc hit there um 
there were two targets in line. Uh, I, pl I applied my Ring of Frost, kept them in place, and just kept hitting two targets at the same time, basically. So it just amplifies your damage overall, but also allows you to kind of poke through a possible structure or, an, or a minion. On this level range, honestly, Arcane Intellect is okay if you're struggling with mana or you just want more mana return. Um, but again, level 7 will help out with that. So again, Frost Armor wouldn't have been bad on, on this um, in this game. What it does, it gives you block targets. Basically, enemies that, that you attack... Uh, enemies that attack you, you are chilled. So basically, you you anybody who attacks you is chilled. So they will automatically be taking more damage from your abilities, which is nice. And additionally, every 10 seconds, you reduce uh, damage taken from next basic uh, attack... Um, by 50%. So, so it's kind of, it gives you 10, every 10 seconds it gives you a block stack. So again, it would have been good against the Butcher. Good to reduce the damage from the Moral Strike. No Moral Strike, the, the one of the, I don't remember the trait from, uh, from Varian. Um, but yeah, from his trait, kind of, kind of, the, kind of reduce the burst. But we went for the Pierce, for the Frost Shard, just because, again, it would allow us to deal that damage even something would be in the way. Level 7 went for Ice Lance, which is the, the bread, you know, the, the, the meat and potatoes of this build. Uh, reducing, reducing the cooldown of our Q and also re re returning some mana when hitting chill targets with our Q. On level 10 I went for the Ring of Frost. Again, kind of this, this ring, uh, this ring, and if anybody gets, after 1.5 seconds, get, gets caught um, in the outer ring, they're going to be rooted for three seconds, applying a lot of damage, applying the chilled effect, and uh, it's just so good. It's just so good, honestly. Uh, by the way, any, uh, again, what it's also gonna do is gonna stay there, and anybody who touches it is gonna be chilled for three, uh, uh, for those three seconds, they're gonna be chilled. So anybody that walks over it doesn't get, let's say it doesn't get caught, but they still walk over it, they're gonna still be taking that, that, uh, that more damage. And of course, our ETC did go for, uh, the the infamous mosh pit. Therefore, we were able to lock down quite quite a lot of targets, especially with the mosh pit MVP. On level 13, we did go for the ice barrier, which kind of gave us a little bit more survivability. It didn't help us too much at the end, just because we weren't able to kind of like maybe protect ourselves against that variant at the end. But again, it should, in theory, give her more survivability, just because maybe you're dealing you're dealing damage to your attacker, to your the hard engaged character that. Uh, it's attacking you and that should give you just that that tiny bit more uh, maybe um you know um survivability to to kind of maybe live through an engagement on 13 we did go for northern exposure which what it does it applies um it applies vulnerability to every single enemy hit by the cone of cold which is nuts again just amplifying your damage even further allowing you just just deal shit on the damage and level 20 we did go for the ice block, improved ice block, just because the enemy team had hard engage. So if maybe th if they did hard engage, maybe let's say the butcher did, did go on me, I can just press one and get out of his charge for free. Also, if there would be a lot of pressure on me, or maybe like a skill shot coming away, which I can see from from miles behind, I would, I would just go into ice block. What it also does, it also chills targets after you go out of the uh, when you go out of the uh, in, the ice block thing. It also chills everybody around you. So let's say somebody is waiting, like, who's very low health, let's say. Let's say it's a hard engaged character. Let's say it's a butcher. And he's very low health. So when you get out of it and he's ready to kill you, he might actually surprise kill him just because it applies the chill effect to him. So he's, he's going to be taking 50% more damage for all of your abilities. So if you burst him down um, after, you know, after you gotta get out of this, you, this might, might actually save your ass plus secure your kill. On any other occasion, I put what I probably would have went for the arcane power. Um, this restores the mana and also increases our abil ability power, which just again synergizes with the character itself. You know, trying to burst down enemies and stuff like that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was somehow informational, hopefully it kind of maybe helps you build Jaina a little bit differently. I know a lot of people go for her standard build, which is probably like Lingering Chill, uh, Arcane Intellect, Frostbitten, uh, Ring of Frost, uh, probably Stormfront, then Snowstorm, and then um, probably, again, Improved Ice Block or Arcane Power. Um, honestly, it's good. It probably would have been better on this map just because it's wave clear. You know, it, this, this will increase our radius of our blizzard. And also, uh, the cast range is just crazy. It gets like so crazy. Um, but again, 
I just felt like we needed some more target time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like the like this video, if you didn't like it, tell me why, and you know, put that thumb down button. But tell me why you didn't like it. Maybe it was my voice. Maybe it was the 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 video itself. Maybe it was the quality. Whatever it is, let me know. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna be holding a giveaway very very soon. I probably will be recording a video tomorrow about it. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh,